where would you meet me? Do you drive? I'm going to give you one last chance to do the right thing and be honest. What did you say? Because I'm telling you now. She said she would meet me at the station. Mark! Well, he don't know what he said. He don't know, he ain't got a clue. He ain't got a clue what he said. He has got I a clue. I haven't. Right. No, I don't drive, only between your legs. That's what you said. Sorry. Sorry? Right, I'm going to run through everything now, what you said. You said that you want to spunk in her mouth. Do you remember saying that? Why are you, why yeah. are you looking all sorry inside? Your sorry inside doesn't cut with me. Doesn't cut with none of us. You are a scumbag. You said I would come in your mouth. Bet you wish you were sitting on my cock now. Other things that you said were, guys, start sharing, please. You said this, this is this is uh, to be honest with you. Just before my colleague reads this out, and I don't want to cut off my colleague, and I won't do it again. So I apologise right. to you. Um, of everyone that I've ever. Well, of everyone that have, who I've been on a sting with, my colleague, you, for you to ask this question to a 13 year old makes me sick. I am a parent of two children. One of my children is 12 years old, which means they're a year older than this decoy that you were talking to. I promise you, if this was my kid, there is no way we'd have this conversation. So um, this is like, um, you ever watch that program Countdown? You ever watch the program Countdown? Yeah. I'm asking you a question. You know at the end of Countdown, there's a final conundrum and I have to guess it. Can you just please read out the final conundrum? Because so you make you me said sick. You, you've, you are the worst, the absolute worst. You've said, or do you want me to come in your mouth and you swallow it? Did you say that? Yeah, I know I'm ashamed of what I've said. You're ashamed. Is that what you just said? Yeah. You're ashamed. Okay, you said, do you want me to fuck you up the bum, babe? Kiss, kiss. What did you say if you, are you a Catholic? No. no? Why have you got a cross round your neck in one of your Facebook pictures? No, you don't know. Do you know what you said to the decoy about getting pregnant, what she should do? Do you remember? Do you remember? Yeah, I said I wouldn't come in her. I, you wouldn't come in her. Okay, let's really? find it. You did, you did. What did you tell her to do if she was to get pregnant? Get rid of it. Get rid of it. So you want a 13 year old child to have an abortion. Is that what you were telling me? You've got a child as well, haven't you, Mark? You've got a daughter. You don't see her no more. How's your daughter? Just curious. I think she's about eight. Eight? Okay. What would you do? I think I haven't seen, seen her in years. I'm, because... asking, I'm, I'm getting to that part. Um, I think, uh, to be honest with you, I think your daughter's a very, very lucky young girl uh, not to see her father if her father is anyone like you. But um, hypothetically speaking, which is a question, it's not a question, but hypothetically speaking, the high side's a great thing. Um, if your daughter was 13 years old and uh, you found out that a 43 year old was talking to her in the way that you've been talking to this 13 year old um, Can you tell me how you would feel? Disturbed. Disturbed Disturbed You would have ripped this 13 year old soul out How do you think a real child would have felt if this was a real child here today that you would have met? So you're gonna finger her You're gonna have sex with her You're gonna come in her mouth you're going to have sex with her anally and if she was to get pregnant you said don't tell your mum just get rid of it just have an abortion do you know do you know what that could have done to a child anal sex her bottom bowel could have fallen out for one a 13 year old girl having an abortion that could have messed her whole insides up and she could have never had a child plus the fact that you statutory raped her regardless whether she's consenting or not where are you? Are you here with me or are you in a world of your own? You are in a world of your own. Can I just ask you, what do you think you are? Like, honestly, if, if people look at you on the street after this, what do you think they're going to think that you are? There's one word for it, Mark. Come on, let's hear it. Pervert. A pervert? Perv what else? Another word. What's the other word, Mark? 
Come on. What's the real word, Mark? Pe pedophile. A pedophile. You can't even pronounce it properly, you so what stupid are you, Mark? man. What are you? Are you a pervert, a pedophile? What are you? I'm not any. What? Are you I not don't, any? I don't, I don't normally go on. You will be <clears> labelled. <throat> you don't normally what? I don't normally go on chat lines. Oh, well, this time you fucked up. Big time. You fucked up big time. You don't know. Do you know how many times we hear that? I don't do this and I don't do that and I've never done this and I've never done that. You make me sick. You don't even look bothered. You don't even look remorseful. What are you thinking about? Thinking how ashamed I am. Ashamed? Anything For else? Well, both. I shouldn't have done it. Really? Yeah, it's done, yeah. You shouldn't have done it. Yeah. What do you think should happen to you now? Warned. Warned? Warned, Warned by who? No, no, no. Yeah. Warned by who? I don't know. Well, you, you, you said the word warned, so who, who are you going to get warned by? Do you think <coughs> you're going to get a ticket? It's, it's for a litter? Yeah, do you think you're going to get a fine or something like that? Who should warn you? We should warn you, or who? Mark, come well, on, you're, mate. Do, you're doing that anyway, ain't you? Mark! Warning you? We're warning you. No, 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 no. The police are coming to arrest you. We're not the police. We've already told you that. We're paedophile hunters. The police are on their way to arrest you, and I will see you at trial. I will be there. Because you With will 12 be jurors, because you idiots yeah. always waste our taxpayers' money. The British people that work, you waste our taxpayers' money and you go to trial. You are never, ever going to win against 12 jurors. Never. It's never going to happen. And if it was a real child, would you let a real child sit and stand in a dock or have video, play video evidence uh, to a jury and make her go through that? But you, you'll make me go through that. And I'll enjoy every minute of it. Every minute I will enjoy seeing you in Crown Court. Mark. You people repulse me. Absolutely repulse me. You're the worst. The worst I've ever, ever come across. Anal sex with a 13 year old child. You don't understand the consequences. You have no clue. Speak, say something. Mark, I'm gonna ask you a couple of, well, I'm gonna ask you one question. You, um. Initially, when I when I came over there and I, I got you over there um, about 15, 20 minutes ago, however long ago it was, um, you say you stated that you wasn't going to meet, um, you didn't want to do anything with her, or along them lines. I can't remember yeah, yeah. exactly uh, the real phrase that you used. Um, if this was a child uh, and she did come to see you by herself, what would you have done? I would have turned her away. No, um, no, no, no. You would have, sorry, excuse me? I would have turned her away. You would have turned her away. Read Why out the bit about the back door, what you said about the front and back oh, door yeah. to the deep. Right? What did you say? Come on. Do you want to say it or do you want me to read it? Yeah, I know, I know she said we'll go, go to her house and I, I said make sure the back door and the front door is locked. But if she had turned up here today, I would have turned her away. Okay, so if the front and back door were locked, why did you want the front and back door to be locked? What was your reason for that? Come on, Mark, it's not fucking brain science, mate, come on. You wrote it, what did you say? You said it yesterday, yesterday afternoon. Why did the back and front door need to be closed? In case anybody to come in. Oh. And uh, come in and what? And saw us. Oh. Saw you what? Oh. Saw you what? Oh. I've been said. No, your precise, disgusting, despicable words were, if anyone come in and caught you fucking her, that's what you said. Is that right, Mark? Is that right? Yeah. So but you're you're still telling me. Gonna turn her away. You're telling you're still telling me you would have turned her away. Yeah. Uh, can I ask you how you would have turned her away? Just question. Like a um, thirteen-year-old. Do you want me to show you the picture of the decoy again? Just curious. I would have turned around. Right. Said so Jess comes up to you. We all know you've, you've said the name, yeah. so I can't. Remember, I can't hide the name. Excuse me if I've let anything out. Um, Jess has come up to you. I'm Jess, hi. How are you? I'm Jess. Oh, hi, I'm Mark. What would you have said? I would have said, Jess, you've got to go because this oh, can't happen. Really? Why? Really? Why, Mark? Why can't it happen? Really? Because you're underage. Oh. Fuck, that's, 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 a, that's a bit funny, that, isn't it, Mark? See, I don't, I don't want to make... I'm not into making a fool of you. 
because you've made a fool of yourself. But what you've just said is ridiculous. So why come all the way here to tell? Because I was doing a bit of shopping as well. Mark, 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 you were never going to come here to do shopping. You got unless on the you bus. Had a meet. All the way from you've Sittingbourne to here. You've got a fucking bus here for the meet. Over 40 minutes away. You've and got you're on the bus. still. Do you know what? I wish that you fucking nonsense would just admit it. You've been stung. It's out there. It's in the open. Just tell the truth, man. You were really going to turn her away, man. Seriously? Yes, I was. Why? Tell really? Me why? why? Really? Why? And, I, and I shouldn't have been talking to her. No, no, no. Just don't let her get a phone out. I shouldn't have been talking to her. You shouldn't have been talking to her. But last night you said you wanted to fuck her up the ass. I know. What do you That's do for a living, Mark? I'm unemployed. unemployed. How long have you been unemployed for? Uh, since I've had my back injury in my leg. Three years. Three years? So your I'm unemployment. I'm, 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 so you're on I'm, ESA, I'm, yeah, here we go, I'm another do, one. I'm doing my English, maths and IT, GS. Are you on GSE. ESA as well? Not at the moment. Oh. What did you think you were going to do? Get a flipping room for a couple of nights at a 13 year old's house? I mean, come on. No, I was going to tell Oh, that's another thing, that's another thing you said as well. What are we going to be? Fuck buddies. These are all your words, I know they're disgusting. What are we going to be? Fuck buddies? Um, sugar daddy? Am I going to be your sugar daddy? You're you unemployed! Got no You're unemployed! You, you ain't got, got two money. pennies to rub together! Or, um, can we fuck every time your mum goes away? That's what you said, didn't you? Yeah, I know. Or, I can I be your boyfriend? That's another thing. How the hell are you going to walk down the street with a little girl? What are you gonna do? Who are you gonna tell? What are you gonna say to people? Oh, she's my mate. She's my girlfriend. No, because you knew what you were doing was wrong, but you still done it because of your sexual desires. So last night you've asked her if you can fuck her up the bum. Um, you've furthermore said exactly what my colleague said to you. I'm gonna reiterate it. Sugar daddy, boyfriend, fuck buddy. Yep, fuck yep, buddy. Okay. Yep. And you're still sitting there. You're still sitting there, honestly, this is less than 24 hours ago that you said all this. You're still sitting there telling everybody that you were going to turn her away. Why did you say all that in the first place? Because according to you and your admission, you've turned around and said to us, um, she's underage, I'm ashamed, this or like the other. But then you've said all, and now when you said she's underage, this is before... You knew she was underage. This is be this is well before you've said less than 24 hours ago that you wanted to fuck her up the arse. And now, so you know what you're doing is wrong. You haven't stopped. You've gone into sex, and then you've gone oh, into it again, and exactly. then you've gone to buggery. And now you're telling me that the girl that was that was meant to come and meet you sitting over there, you would have turned away. You're a liar. You're a, you you are. You, it's compulsive. Yeah. It's it's actually compulsive. From day two, you started talking about sex. We've been speaking for over two weeks. So from day two, and every time she said, oh, I've been at school today, oh, I've had a crap day at school, talking about home life, you, you disregarded it. You didn't care. You didn't say, oh, how was school? Not that you should say anything, but literally after she'd say, oh, I've just got in from school, what would you say? When are you gonna fuck me? How are you gonna fuck me? Who's gonna make the first move? That's another thing you said. How the hell would a child know how to make the first move? Huh? So can I ask you again, Mark? Mark, hello? I'm speaking. Can I ask you again, Mark? Would you have still turned her away, Mark? You yeah, gonna... I've had... Are I you going to keep with that story? I was... I think... I've been thinking about this last night. Mark, last night? What time did you go to bed last night? Just curious. Oh, I was up most of the night with my knee. Okay, mm. so wh why were you... Sorry, I want to get to this now, boy. Why were you up with your knee, Mark? Because I've got a crumbling... Disc. Okay, you're in pain? Yeah. Okay. Um, kills. I've had my cartilage done as well. Kills, doesn't it? But you, you look as though you've got a right bad knee, correct? Painkillers make you sleepy, yeah? Yeah. But you're in pain, yeah? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, yeah. I'm just getting to the point that he's in pain. I'm just getting up. He's in pain last night, yeah? Yeah? Okay. Um, last night, you asked her to fuck her up the arse, yeah? You're still in pain, yeah? But you've asked her to fuck her up the arse. Now, you're in pain, you've asked her to fuck her up the arse, and then you want to tell me you're still in pain, you're even even more pain, but you're thinking that I've got to turn a 13-year-old away. 
are you actually being serious with me? Seriously, Mark, now, come on now. You, you said to me you're in pain. Like, the injury that you've got is worse than, like, a Gascoigne injury in 1991 in the FA Cup fight and the final. Like, you sound as though you are fucked. Your knee's fucked. You said you've got, what's it, a crumbling? A crumbling ball, ball joint. Crumbling ball joint. That's, that's dangerous, man. That's two years out of football. I'm a football player. That's two years out of football, isn't it? Like, that's a, that's a big, big, big team. I know these things. So you're telling me now that you're in that much pain that you were thinking... That you were thinking that you've got to turn a 13 year old away because it's wrong, which it is wrong, but there again you're asking her to fuck her up the ass. Which one is it, Mark? Because you haven't, in, in this message, this, these messages that you've said, um, you haven't turned around and said, you're 13, I, think, I don't think this should happen. What you actually have said is, I want to fuck you up the ass. So you're, 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 again, Mark, this is the fourth time. I've given you the synopsis that you're in with your knee. I apologise that your knee's crumbling and all that. It is painful. I've come over there. You've been sitting over there and you're still telling me that you would have turned her away. After less than 20... It's actually less than 18 hours away, uh, ago. You've said that you want to fuck this person up the arse. Can you tell me which one it is, please, Mark? Yeah, I did say that. Right. So you're telling me you still would have turned her away, but you were thinking about it last night because you're in pain. How can you think... You're obviously a not, not a multitasker. Why didn't you message her and say, this is not right, this is really bad what I've been doing, I, I, I shouldn't come and meet you and I'm not going to come and meet you. Why didn't you message that? Curiosity killed the cat, that's why. Another thing he said, what do you look like when you've got makeup on and you're all dressed up? That's what he said. Yeah. Why? Why did you say that? I know exactly why he said that. Why did you say that? Oh, you can't remember saying that one. No, can't remember. Yeah, almost. The reason the you there. said that is because if she was all doled up, not that a thirteen-year-old should be all doled up, so that you could walk down the street with her, and no one would think any different. Girls do wear makeup, and it's entirely up to them and their parents whether they want to wear makeup. Um, we've just got some comments. I just want to. I just want to say something. Um, how do you think your friends and family are going to feel? Disgusted. Disgusted. Me. What do you think they're going to say to you? How many brothers and sisters have you got? I've got one sister. Mate, two, you can't afford a McDonald's brothers. lunch. You ain't got two pennies to lunch. What? what? One sister, two brothers. And where do they live? One lives in London. The other one lives with my mum. And my sister lives, lives with her partner. You do live in Sittingbourne, right? At the moment, I do, yeah. I come out of a bad relationship. She was always cheating on me. I was made from guys. Made homeless. Oh, so here she she was always cheating on you. Who begins with an S? I don't want to put her name on this live feed. Don't say the woman's name because it's not fair on her. Begins with an S, and she had um, uh, one child before she uh, got pregnant with your kids. Um, yeah, we're in, we're in Maidstone. No, right? the, the last the last person I was with was Misha. Right. Okay. So we're not talking about the woman that gave birth to your child. Well, Sally Ann. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Say her name. Head. He wants sympathy, he ain't getting none. Why did she leave you, or did you leave her? I left her because she, she was cheating behind my back. No, you didn't touch her kids, no? No. No, what is your sexual really desire? Like what is your sexual desire with children? There isn't any. There isn't any. But so this we... is a 13 year old man. I know, and I shouldn't have done it. Right, but. I'm not proud of myself, I'm disgusted with myself. Yeah, but you have done so it. So when you get to the police station now, what are you going to say? Exactly huh? what I've told you, like. What? That I shouldn't have done it. I'm disgusted with myself. Lovely. It should, should never have happened. An indecent image and a video of yourself masturbating. What could that have done to a real 13 year old? Scarred her head. Scarred her. Could have messed her watching. up. Could have. What's his name? It, it would have. Stopper. It would have messed her up. Trust me on that. It would have messed her up. You have no clue. You have no clue what you could have done to this child. 100% Tom. Guys, start sharing. Yeah, correct, we're in Maidstone. By the train station. <laughs> you got condoms on you? No. Oh no, you weren't going to use condoms, you were going to make her have an abortion, wasn't you? No, because I wasn't going to... No, oh yeah. Oh, we'll get... A... We're getting a bit of attitude out of you now. That's what pissed me off the most. 
You telling a child uh, to abort. Correct, abo Maidstone. You telling a child to abort a baby that could have been growing inside her and then wanting to have anal sex with a child. Thanks, keep sharing, guys. How you That's feeling? correct, Maidstone and Kent. Hey, how are you feeling, mate? Disgusted with myself. Imagine how other people think about you. Guys, push the share button. Let's get Mark Shopper's face out there. Paedophile. Came to meet a 13 year old girl. Said his finger her. wouldn't hurt. That's what you said. Because she asked, would it hurt? You said, no, it wouldn't hurt. Double check this morning as well, didn't you, to make sure that her mother was out the house. So what you said is your mum definitely gone. Mark, I'm going to ask the same question again. I'm going to sound like a repetitive little idiot, right? You've asked this morning to make sure her mum's out, and you're still telling me that you would have turned her away. Yes, I would. Oh, done. you're having a laugh, mate. You're disgusting. Listen, you don't fool us. That's a nice. You do not fool <clears> us. <throat> Heard that song so many times. Police are on their way. Can't be done a hell of a Yeah, no, you're not. I'm mean, not. Okay, so the police were called at 3.22. Who do you live with, on your own? I live on my own, yeah. Do you get your own flat? Oh, I mean, no, homeless. How oh, come life got so bad for you? You're in what? How, how did my life get so bad? Yeah. Come out of a bad relationship. I mean, she want to play with kids. It's, it's no, it doesn't. I'm disgusted right, with you know. myself. Well, you've done it before, haven't you? Me, no, like I haven't. You're around five years old. You have. The talk that you talk, you've done it before, haven't you? Mm, cry no, me haven't. a river. There we go. Taxi's coming. It's not Uber. We do this to protect children. Because there are children that do go online and they have no clue what they're doing. None at all. And people like you prey on children and you get away with it. How many you times have you done it before? I haven't. Are you sure? Yeah. What have you got in your house? You've got any computers and that in your no, house? No, I haven't. You've no laptops? No. no tablets? I'm on a dole, I can't afford it. Oh, you can't afford it, but you can, you can afford your docking station, can't you? There's a docking station. Put his iPod on to play his music out. You're on the dole and you can't afford it. <laughs> Crying me a river. <laughs> Surprised you've been turned up there, you know that? Crazy. I never thought Crazy. you were going to show. I had no, I had no thought in my head that you You're were going to show. You? No, I wasn't. I was, I was doing a bit of sh shopping because yeah, I like to go. With, I like was, to wander in Because my and colleague out. was watching all of your chat yesterday. Don't chat shit, man. Don't chat shit. My colleague read before. everything yesterday. The whole of the chat. I was. Um, How much was your bus fare? I got a free bus pass. Oh, yeah. Bad day, mate. We had no. Do you, do you know what? Sometimes that you do this and like you meet scumbags like yourself. You think is he going to turn up? Is he not going to yeah. turn up? Is she going to turn up? Is he not going to turn up? You. I promise you, I had no doubt you were going to turn up. Absolutely no doubt. No doubt at all. No doubt in my mind. No doubt. What's going on, Mark? What are you thinking of? How disgusting I am. How disgusted you are. Yeah.
You don't know. Can't so I'll ask you again, Mark. Be honest, just be honest. No, no, no. What did you see in a 13 year old that made <coughs> you carry on like this? Because it can't be the politeness. Come on, Mark. Yeah. 10 year old could be polite to you. You're going to do that to a 10 year old? 9 year old, 8 year old? What was it about the 13? What was it about the age of 13? I don't know. I was just talking to her and things got. Well, things no, 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 no. Do you know how you many pretty things? women are on that website? There are gorgeous women on that website. You could have spoke to any of them. There are thousands on there. Yeah. So why, why, why would you not speak to them? Oh, but don't forget, he did say that a 23-year-old doesn't do it for him. Oh, yeah. He did say that. Yeah. I mean, that was your admission, right? I'm just, I'm just <coughs> going back to what you said, yeah? You said a 23-year-old yeah. don't do it for you. That's what you why, said, right? Why does a 23-year-old not do it for you? Because I should be going for looking for somebody my age oh you don't have to look for someone your your age could be older there's plenty of guys out there that are 43 that you go for younger women not a problem at all but when you start going under 16 that's when the british public find it a big problem and the courts find it a big problem i hope they make an example out of you and start listening to us hunters that are protecting children and start giving you 10 years I'd give you life. If I were to judge, you'd get life. I'd probably bring back in the death penalty and I'd enjoy watching you die. But that's our justice system for us. Yeah, we've got people in here. I mean, I'm going I'm to paraphrase someone. Sorry, guys. Um, just admit it, you like children. He's, oh, he's, 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 he, the man that has said that is he's, he's, he's 100% correct. Because you said a 23 year old don't do it for you, a 33 year old don't do it for you, a 43 year old don't do it for you, because as you've pointed out, you should be looking for people your own age. I ain't got a problem with you going for a 23 year old, but you've said that them ages don't do it for you, a 13 year old does do it for you. So you obviously have an attraction to children, and young children as that, at that, sorry. Real, real bad. Like, it's disgusting. I, there are no words for what you, and you know what? Oh, I did want to say this. I, uh, we, we do our research and whatever. We know where you are. We know where you live. I've said the, 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 the age of consent in this country is 16. Yeah? Do you know what the age of consent is? What you, the last message you I can't I can't actually say the last message you sent because it makes me sick. Do you want to tell him? What's the age of consent? What's the age of consent for fucking someone up the arse? I hate saying that word as well. Because I'm talking about a 13 year old. It's, oh, it's annoying me. What's the age of consent for that? 18. 18. No, I tell you no, what, he no, ain't no, stupid. No, no, he no. I tell you what, you're he's not stupid, are you, Mark? The age of consent for buggery is 18. You're not stupid, Mark, you know. are you? You've done it before. No. You have, haven't you? No, I haven't. So freezing. So how do you know all that? How do you know all these things? I'm seeing all your comments. You don't good, smoke, mate. do you? Good, because I always pull out a fag because that is so everyone's problem pulling out a fag. Bad when was the last time you saw your daughter? Well, she was going behind my back. I don't, I never asked about your ex missus, I asked about your kids. When was eight the last nine years ago? Eight or nine years ago. Hold I, on. I, I'm gonna message her, your missus, later. I want to get in. I'm gonna hold message on. her and tell her hold everything on, what on, you've done. Eight or nine years ago. That was the last time you saw your daughter? So how old was your daughter when you see her? She was still a baby when I left. Mm. So why haven't you fought to try and see your child? Because the situation is she got with this other guy and I got pushed out. You got pushed out? Yeah. The oh, the, the, the strengths that you went to you to no try and see this kid. You went you to so many strengths just because you got pushed out. Plus, I didn't have yeah, the money, yeah, yeah. I didn't have the money to go to court. And you didn't have the money? I'd get a solicitor. Social will pay for that. Access. Social will pay for that. No, us us that. taxpayers' money will pay for that. You disgust me. Absolutely disgust me. I'm so glad it was me speaking to you and not a child. Because <laughs> most solicitors now don't do legal aid. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Anyway, I don't worry about that. They will when it comes to children. You're not the only one that wants to... Yeah, I get you. 
It makes me sick as well. You physically made me sick when you said you wanted to do buggery on this child. What I'm trying to put in your head is what you have. You have no conscious. You have no conception of what you've done. It's not that. It could that. have it's been kids. a child. It really, kids. really no, could have. Kids. And the old line that you always kids. use is what that you wouldn't have done nothing. Way. Crap. Crap. So crap. What would you be doing to his kids? Dirty. Okay, you, you need legal aid now. I don't feel sorry for him when I say that to him either. To be honest with you. None of us do. So cold. The police are on their way, yeah. 100% his kids are better off about him. 100%. And I'll look at him straight in the face, hello, and I'll say it to him, your kids are much better off about you. Someone else trying to message your little kid. No. Is that what happened? No, my ex was with somebody else. You sure you weren't messaging kids and stuff? I haven't checked the rest of my decoys, but lo and behold, you'll come up, because you always do, or any other hunter, Maidstone, Kent. You're a bad boy, ain't you? Hey? The prison right in the corner, mate. You know that, didn't you? Got a nice bed for you. Correct, Maidstone, Kent. Put you on the fraggle wing. <laughs> Karen's on it. She's already got it. What? <laughs> Maidstone Mr. train station, yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so he was really, that's the thing. We're at Maidstone Camp, but he lives in Sittingbourne. That is correct. He jumped on a bus. Am I correct? You jumped on a bus, didn't you? Yeah, so he was still going to turn this kid away. But he's jumped on the bus. But he's only come to do some shopping because he was, he was um, unbelievably, just so happened, coincidence happens that he came to do some shopping and he came to meet a 13 year old on the same day. Do you know how stupid that sounds that I just said that? Is there no shops over in Sittingbourne for Freaking you to get hell. this? Is there no shops over in Sittingbourne? Yeah, there is, but uh, I've, I've, I've been in all their shelter shops. Right. And I like looking in the shelter shops. You like looking in the what shops? Shelter shops. Shelter shops? Yeah, What's like that mean? Yeah, research oh, and all that. Oh, oh Sue so Rider shops? Yeah. Oh. How much was that just out for you? £2.50. Raw, man. For a no, docking no, station. Don't cuss him about his money, man. I know. Don't cuss him about his money. He's lucky he's brass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but that's, uh, that's the reason. Uh, do you know what? I, can't, I, hate, I can't even stand saying it. He didn't want to use condoms because you can't afford them or something like that. He's that frigging bad. You're disgusting, man. 13 years old. 13, Mark. Come on, man. Seriously. No, no, I'm ashamed. You're ashamed. Right, lady. You make no. me sick. Just... You actually make me sick. I've been, I've been trying, and I'm still holding back. I've been trying to hold back and everything like that, but it makes me sick. Let me tell you why it makes me sick. What gives you the right? Who in the hell gave you the right to send mm. pictures yes. to a 13 year old? Yes. Who in the hell gave you the right yes. to send a video to a 13 year old? Yeah. Who in the hell gave you the right? to ask to fuck a 13 year old when the age of consent is 16 and who in the hell gave you the right to shag a 13 year old up the arse when you know the legal age for that is 18 who gave you the right nobody nobody so what the fuck makes you think you've got it I don't you don't why say it then Mark have you met another 13 year old and done stuff no. with you make me sick you sure? you're disgusting do you watch child porn scum of the fucking earth you've never watched it Yep, this is what we have to do. We are freezing. It's what, four degrees? And we've waited over 40 minutes for the place. Should have got a few cup of teas, mate. That's what you should have done. Bought them here. <sighs> Tell you what, why don't you guys ask him some questions? Let, let, let you guys ask him some questions. We can keep asking. You guys ask him some questions. It's your time. This ain't no video that's gonna. This is a live feed. Thanks, Why you guys ask Thanks him Mark. Questions? Ask him for his coat. <laughs> I ain't got a question for him. I'm quite speechless. I just look more disgusted from the, from the first minute I saw him. The first minute I saw him, what was going on. Can't do that, unfortunately. Do you wish to stay at home now? 
Yeah, this yeah. is yeah. the ultimate question. The ultimate question. You know it's the best that. question ever. It's a one word question. Why? Why? What do you mean? Why? 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 Everything that you've done today. Why? Because you're a paedophile. Because you're a paedophile. There's no other answer, is there? No, let me answer. But why? I have been no, no, no. To I, hold on, man. I'm not asking you. We've we've ascertained that you shouldn't have been talking to a 13 year old. We've ascertained that you shouldn't have sent a, a, a picture to a 13 year old. We've ascertained that you shouldn't have said a lot of things to a 13 year old. What I'm asking you is what someone has asked to ask you, and that is, why did you do it? Why? It's not hard. Why? I'm not a pain. <laughs> Oh. Okay, you're not a paedophile. You done, done out of boredom. That's your answer to this whole thing. So you find boredom is taking a picture of your cop, videoing yourself, asking a 13 year old for sex, straight sex, asking a 13 year old to fuck her up the ass, asking a 13 year old to make sure that the doors are locked because you don't want anyone to walk in on you, but you call that boredom. That is your definition of boredom. I'll go and buy for the boredom is what I've just said to you. Please tell me you've got something more for me than that. Please, man, come on. Well, I had nothing to do when I was just talking. No you boxing in your house. We've got a docking no. station now, you can play your music. Well, I can't, because I've got a new battery for the Oh, oh boo-hoo! Boo bloody who! You can get books in these charity shops for 10p. You had nothing to do, so that's what you do. So when you have nothing to do, Mark... Well, I was watching the telly. Right, so when you're watching the telly, Mark, and you have nothing else to do, you decide that you're going to send a picture to a 13-year-old and a video to a 13-year-old of yourself, yeah? No. Right, so what is it? You just said it was boredom. That's what you do when you're bored. What is it? Why? Why this 13-year-old, Mark? Why? Why? Know, Why, sure mate? Huh? Ashamed of myself. You're ashamed of yourself. Disgusting Why are you ashamed myself? of yourself? Because I shouldn't have been speaking to her. That's it. Let him wallow in his own wallow self me. pity. Wallow. Stay there, you're disgusting nonsense. Everyone's going to know that you're a disgusting nonsense. Everybody. To throw away the key with people like you. You thought your luck was in today, didn't you, mate? No. You did, didn't you? You thought your luck was in. Tell the truth. No, it wasn't. You didn't, so why did you come in then? You did, just tell the truth now, mate. Because you're fucked anyway. You're lucky he's the one that ain't pissed off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Fucking doing shit like that. What's wrong with you? Fucking egg. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fucking hell, man. We will clean the streets of you people to stop you preying on our children. We won't stop, no matter how many times our pages get shut down and the police try and ha ha tell us to stop doing this, that we're interfering in their stupid cases, because we've never interfered in no police cases. We will not stop clearing the streets of you people. When you people actually realise that it's us that you're going to be speaking to on these chat sites, it's not children. And hopefully we will prevent that from happening, that you do actually speak to a child. I told you he'd melt. I thought he might kick off, but I told you if he didn't kick off, he'd melt. And that's exactly what you did, didn't you, Mark? Because as soon as I showed you that picture over there, you melted. Yeah, you melted. Heart, broke his heart. I'll oh, just say hello to Jess one more time, Mark. Look at her. Say hello. Hello. Fucking nom's case. <clears throat> the cab's taking a while, mate, you know that? Don't worry, they might be finding you a limo. You've been arrested before? No, Never. Right. Yeah, the shit used to do down in jail, mate. Let's put it this way. What I can safely say to you is you definitely won't be going home tonight and you definitely won't be going home tomorrow. You most probably will be going straight to court on Monday morning. <coughs> You'll get looked after because they look after people like you. 
but the one thing that I will say is anyone in Sittingbourne that is on this feed or anyone near it, you know what he looks like. You know who he is. We're not asking you to go and smash his face in, but keep your kids away from people like yeah. this. Because Start sharing, you guys. Are Get his face out there. absolute epitome of disgusting. We're in you Maidstone. Any pages in Maidstone, being. share it with them. All of your friends, share it with them. Get this guy's face out. He's the worst. Number 45, the worst one ever. Then later, in a, probably about an hour, an hour, hour and a half, we'll be getting another one. Just like you, bro. Didn't want to come and meet what he believed to be a 10 year old, a 6 year old, and a 13 year old. So keep tuned, guys. <laughs> what do you think people are going to call you when they see this and recognise you? What word are they going to use? There you go. Why do you look so sad and sorry for yourself? He's well spread apart, look at him. Mark. He looks like he's been caught. And can I ask you another question? What, for, what, what do, you, do you really think, this is how stupid you actually are, of course you're not stupid, you know exactly what's going on, but the, the reason why you're stupid, look at yourself. Did you wake up in the morning and have a look in the mirror? Now can you tell me what anyone that the age of thir at the age of 13 would see in you? Because you're a scumbag. Guys, how long have we been waiting for this police now? People oh, here, I think they're coming. They have a load of sirens. Hopefully this is them. Please let this be them. I'm frozen. Yeah, yeah someone put your hand up. It's them. Yeah. Yeah. Someone will go and get them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve, would you mind going to get them? Thank you. Police are here, guys. Started shaking now, ain't you, mate? Hey, shit hit the fan. Give it down a nice warm cell. You're loving it, mate, wouldn't you? Mark, on a serious level, you absolutely disgusting. Yeah, you're, you're really bad. On a serious, Mark, serious level, honestly. you're. I don't. I'm not going to start swearing and all that crap now. And that's not because the police are here. I, don't, I really don't care. But you are absolutely disgusting and I speak on behalf of everyone yeah, that's watching everyone. this I speak on behalf of every single sane person in this world everyone with kids without kids normal people you are vile disgusting and you're a paedophile you're a pervert you're disgusting mate I'm so glad that this was not a child. She would have had to endure everything that you said to her. No child would have a clue what any of those things are. Children just go along with it because they don't know right from wrong. They don't understand. And the image that you sent and the video that you sent. And then you actually had the audacity to say, what did you think of the video? But I blanked you. I ignored you because you made me feel sick. So I had to ignore you. Don't, I don't even, well, I don't even. I don't want you to say sorry, but I want you to look at my colleague. I want you to look at my colleague. And my colleague has to have that image, unfortunately, of your two images that you've sent in her head for probably the rest of her life. Mm. What do you think that's done to her? Look at her. Huh? Look at her. You have no clue. And you can, if my colleague's trying to make you say sorry or ask you to say sorry, oh, you no. can stick it so far up your ass it squirts out your ears. Because I would never accept an apology off from people like you. Okay, your boy's coming. Oh, yeah, 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 please. You look ill. You've gone as white as a ghost? Yeah. 
arrested. He's been arrested before for this. You know it? that? You've been arrested before for this? No, I haven't. You sure? I've never been in trouble with you. You sure? Well, you have now, mate. What the fuck to start with? What a fucking idiot, eh? Think a child's gonna meet you? Is that how stupid you are? Fucking hell, mate. You're freezing out here as well. You mean come out here and freeze, you know that? Because you're shit. You know that? Fucking these guys have left, they've got missuses and children. All of these guys work. My colleague here's got a baby, a young, young baby, and he's prepared to come out to stop people like you. I give thanks to everyone that's on this team. They're amazing, all of these guys. What the hell's that? What is that? It's the next one. What the hell's that? That's how they roll around here. I've never seen nothing like that. Yeah, that's how they roll. Here we They've go. They've got the straps in the back to strap you up. <laughs> oh. Encourage your weights, young man. Oh, old man. Waste man. <laughs> I can't wait to see you get sent down for this. I cannot wait. Why are you shaking? I'm going to sit in the station now for four hours and give a statement on you. Why are you shaking? It's oh. freezing. You're not going to have a little attack, are you? There's nothing wrong with him. There's nothing wrong with him. He's just fucking on kids. Bad luck, mate, wouldn't it? Pick the wrong person. How many times have you done it before? Haven't. You have. You you knew exactly what you were saying in that message. I've done these chats for too many too long. You know. You're definitely talking Freezing. to other people though, aren't you? You're talking to other youngsters. No, I'm not. Well, all your, all your family you was asked to something you, earlier yeah. and you come out with another totally different reply, like you've actually said it to another person. I'll check all the decoys later. All well, your you family's going to see this, you know that, didn't you? All your family, your ex missus all the people that you Start live sharing with. this if you're in Maidstone, everyone. They're all going to see you, bro. Maidstone, sitting born. Make our way to Ashford after this, guys. Well, the best thing to do is just get up and say to the police you've been trying to pay with the people. Yeah, why don't you just go and tell yeah, the police yeah, what you've been up to? Just go and do it, man. Stand up like a man and go and say, look, I'm fucking, they've got me. That's the best thing you can do. You might have to give you a couple of that like, points, you know what I mean? Sorry. Hello, sir, you okay? Um, you know what's going on, okay? Do you mind if you just come with me? Alright, we'll go inside, we'll just have a sit in my car and we'll have a good chat, okay? What's your name? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, this lady yeah, is the person that's going to be the one that's going to be taking the statement from. Yes. Yeah. Um, that lady's going to be taking the statement.